Hey guys, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is reading for January the 28th to February the 3rd. And as I always ask, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. Um, I hope you'll be able to hear this. I know some people have been having sound problems. They can't hear me. Um, I've ordered a new attachment for my camera because I think that's what it might be. It hasn't arrived yet, obviously. So until that time, I'm going to be as loud as I possibly can. I know I'm not a very loud person, but I'm going to try. Hopefully everyone will be able to hear me. Um, and I'll keep on doing that until this attachment arrives. So I'm just going to start with your reading right now for Aries. The first card you have for your past is the Ace of Cups. So yeah, this this page is obviously he's the most sensitive page. He can be a bit funny, but he can also be quite sensitive. So um, yeah, I am seeing sensitivity in this card. I'm seeing some other things as well. But um, I think you might have been feeling a little bit... Uh, a little bit lost in your own thoughts at this time, a little bit introspective. Um, I'm just looking at the water in this card as well behind this page. And you know, there are waves going up and down. They're not deep waves, so you weren't going through great big ups and downs, but you're just having these kind of little ups and downs. You're kind of one minute you're okay, next minute you're kind of lost in your thoughts again, that kind of thing. There was someone around you who might have picked up on that. They might have been thinking that, wow, they're a bit temperamental. They're, they're kind of going up and down a bit. Um, and, you know, I see this in your reading sometimes. You can be full on one minute, joking, laughing, angry, full on, all of that kind of thing. And then the next minute you can be really lost in your thoughts, a bit quiet, wanting to be by yourself, all of that kind of thing. But I'm not seeing those extremes, but it was happening to you a bit. That's what I'm seeing. Um, there were a few little things that were bothering you at this time, but I don't think this was why um, you're in your head. You know, I think people were saying some little things to you, maybe having some little digs at you, but that wasn't what it was. Um, and also with this person who picked this up from you, who was picking up your feelings, um, I don't think there are any big problems between you. I don't think they're upset. I don't think anything, they were angry or anything like that. They just sense this little shift in you and they might have been wondering a bit about it. They might have been thinking, oh, what happened to them? I hope they're okay. It was that kind of thing. Um, because I'm seeing you talking to someone one minute, uh, maybe this was a friend, talking on the phone or something like that, texting, and then you either stopped a bit, you went a bit quiet, uh, or you weren't as kind of uh, vocal as you normally would be. So. Um, they were kind of wondering, what happened? I hope they're okay. It's that kind of thing I'm getting. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is a love connection. I think this might be a past love connection. I think you were very alone at this time. Um, whether you were physically alone, I don't know, but you were feeling a bit alone, so I don't think you had this person around you. And they are from your past. I'm seeing that again. Now, I think uh, you had... When you're with this person, I think they made you laugh. You made them laugh. You laughed a lot. <laughs> you spent a lot of time joking and laughing with this person. Um, and uh, yeah, you made them laugh a lot. I'm seeing that. I think this person was really missing you at this time. But I don't think... I think they might have been thinking, no, if I, if I tried to contact this person, they'd reject me. Um, too much had happened. Um, but, you know, I, I, I still want to think about it. So I think they were thinking about... How would, if I wanted to come close to this person again, if I wanted to talk to them again, how would I do that? Maybe, you know, the thing that we bonded on was our sense of humour. So maybe I might uh, talk to them and I might say something a bit funny. I might go on social media and say a little funny thing, post something funny. I might start off like that and see how it goes. But then I'm a little bit afraid because I'm not sure kind of how they're going to take me, what they're going to say. So I think this is what was going on in their head at this time. Now, I think that if they did do this, if they did come close to you, uh, you might not be very happy with them because I'm seeing that you lost some trust in whoever this is. I think you might even uh, frown at them if they came up to you and even said anything to you. You might kind of look at them with one raised eyebrow and say, you know, really, you're coming up to me now after everything you've done, after everything that happened. Um, you had lost trust with them and I think you still have. 
um, whether you're going to always feel like that about this person, I don't know, but this is how you're feeling at this time. So the next card you have for your past is Temperance. So, yeah, I love this card. I love this card. This is all about um, getting out of one situation and into another one, changing a thing into another thing. Um, this is always positive. I love how passionate this is. This is beautiful. Um, I think, I actually think a few people might have been getting these kind of go away vibes from you <laughs> that were coming from you. Uh, you weren't actually saying go away to anyone. Um, I know you can be a bit blunt, but um, you didn't say anything uh, to these people. I think people were just feeling this. They were feeling these vibes coming from you. Um, but, you know, you're having these ups and downs. You're having these little downs, thinking thinking in your head, all of that kind of thing. We well, always think in your head, but what I mean is you're kind of in your head, just kind of in your little feelings. But um, I don't think you're realising how your life was actually changing. Things were getting a lot better for you in your life. They were growing, things were moving up for you. But I don't think you're realizing how much that was actually happening for you. Um, you know, there's a sun rising in this card, but it's behind this beautiful angel. So maybe you weren't able to see all of these positive changes that were happening. Maybe you had your back turned to what was actually happening and you were just in your head. But these things were happening, whether you're realizing it or not. There was a lot of power around you and there still is a lot of power around you. There's a lot more power around you than you know and inside yourself as well. Um, and I think you might have also been letting go of some things mentally as well, working out, you know, kind of, you know, streamlining things um kind of um what am i trying i can't i'm trying to think for the word streamlining things and kind of just taking things that you wanted to bring with you leave things behind that you wanted to leave behind that kind of thing letting go of things mentally as well i hope that's making sense i know i'm not articulating that very well um and i think you know i think okay i think this i hope this makes sense i'll try and explain it a bit better to you um, I think in your more distant past, you might have been trying to control things a lot more than you were at this time. I think um, you're kind of struggling saying, I can control this, I can do this, I have to control this, I have to do this, I'm going to put the effort in, I'm going to put the work in, if I do this number of hours, this will happen, if I do this number of things, this will happen. Um, it was kind of very, very controlling, and you weren't controlling other people, you were trying to control yourself and your own outcomes. And then I think after a while you realise that the way to get what you wanted was to let go of some of these things. And I think that's what you were doing a lot more. You were letting go of a lot of things. Um, and the more you let go, I think, not of everything, you're still controlling some things, but the more you let go of things that you can't control, the more you're going to start to rise up um, like the wings um, on this beautiful angel. Um, and you're going to keep on doing this. You're going to keep on letting go of things, just being calm with them, and then rising up even, for, even further, because it's going to give you clarity in your mind. The less kind of stress you have in your mind, the more open your mind's going to be, to be, and the more you're going to let things in that are going to help you. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that makes sense. Um, you're not going to change your personality, of course. Um, if you look at this angel, she's still making an effort, she's still concentrating, she's still passionate, she's still determined. You're all of those things. But she's also balanced. She knows when to hold on. She knows when to let go. And that's what you were learning to do. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And you're going to keep on learning to do that. You're going to keep on learning when to let go, when to hold on. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that makes sense to you. So the last card you have for your past is the moon. So yes, I mean, all of these kinds of ups and downs probably weren't feeling too good for you. And ascension sometimes doesn't feel good because you have to kind of change a lot of things. And when you make changes, they can be painful sometimes. But you know, you're starting to, you're moving upwards like this lobster. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'll just move that up so you can see everything in that card. So yeah, so you are like this lobster coming out of the water, moving up. But this lobster still has to walk past this barking dog and this wolf, even though he's moving up. So, um, you know, things are improving for you. I think inside your head, you might have still been thinking, 
oh, I'm not getting anywhere, oh, I'm not good enough, oh, this will never happen for me. You might have had all these thoughts in your mind and that's what this um, dog and this wolf are, they're kind of barking and howling inside your head. But even though these things were happening inside your head, I think you were walking past them anyway, like this lobster. Um, it has to walk past this dog and this wolf, even though it's they're barking and howling. The lobster is still going past. The lobster is still going up the path, going upwards like you are. That's what you're doing. Um, and sometimes the moon card can also be about not realising things or not seeing the reality of things sometimes. So again, um, you might not be realising how much things actually are improving for you. And I think until you look back um, and you realise and you can see where you came from, um, you you might not realise that until you actually do that. The watchtowers on this card are almost up to the same level as the moon. So when you've travelled up to the top of this where the moon is, like where this lobster's going, and you go up into these towers and you look down, you'll be able to see that. You'll be able to look down and you'll be able to see everything and you'll realise how far you've actually come. You've already come really, really far. I think at this time you just weren't able to see it. Um, you do have a lot further to go. But I think, you know, look back on where you've come from. Think, you know, where was I a year ago? Where was I two years ago? Look at yourself now. Look at how far you've come. It's amazing. And you've made these changes inside of yourself as well. You've really changed as a person. You haven't changed your whole personality. The big things about you are still there. But you've changed a lot of things for the better. So, you know, don't, don't let this dog and this wolf in your head bark these horrible things say these things about you, say, oh, you're not good enough, you can't do this. It's not true, it's not true. Look at how far you've come and you'll realise that. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have for your present is death. So, yeah, I, obviously this card's about moving away from something old, moving into something new, and, you know, it's inevitable. This is going to happen if it hasn't already. You've moved away from something. I think you might have moved away from this person in your past, this person in the Page of Cups, this old relationship. And I think um, you don't want to go back there. That's what this is showing me. You've moved forward. You've moved away from this relationship. It's death to that. You do not want to go back there. Now, I think this person might be trying to get you to go back. They might not have done this yet, but I think they probably will if they haven't already. Um, they're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to ask you to trust them. They're going to be saying, please trust me. You can trust me. I've changed all of that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing them wanting to start things up with you at some time. And I think at one time you really did have deep feelings for this person. I think you might still have some feelings for them, actually. Um, but I think uh, that's why um, you were so hurt by this, because you did have these deep feelings for them. And it takes a lot for you to trust someone, it really does. And, you know, you probably don't ever want to go through anything like that again. Uh, that feeling of wondering if they're telling the truth, wondering where they are. Um, they really, really broke your trust, whoever this was. Um, and you're proud as well. That's another reason why uh, you don't want to go back there again. You know, your head doesn't want to anyway, that's what I'm seeing. And death is final. You're not going to go back, but I don't think they're seeing that. I think they might have something in their heads where they just don't want to admit that they might be still trying to push that so if they're not now uh, expect that to happen in the future expect them to come and try and talk to you or connect with you again um, the next card you have for your present is the two of swords so yes look at that this woman has a blindfold she doesn't want to see the reality she doesn't want to admit what's happening so this person does not want to admit that it's over they don't want to admit that. They want to try again. They want to talk to you again. They want you to trust them again. That's the big one. They want you to trust them again. Um, and, you know, they might be starting to try to talk to you in little ways, sort of edging their way, way in, if that makes sense. They might be starting to make these little um, comments on social media, little funny comments, maybe, because that's what I was seeing in the Page of Cups that they might start to do. Um, I think... 
even if you ignore them, even if you knock them back and say no to them quite bluntly, even if you say to them, no, I don't want this, please move on, I don't want to go back there. Even if you say that to them, I still think they might keep on coming back to you. They still keep on, they're going to still keep on trying again and again. They're very stubborn. That's what I'm seeing. So you might have to go through this a few times. If you say no to them, you might have to keep on saying no a few times because they have their blindfold on and they're saying no. They've got their arms crossed in front of them saying, no, I don't want to listen. I don't want to hear. So you're going to have to, I think, probably keep on telling them again and again. If things get really bad, you might even have to block them. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your present is the Page of Pentacles. Um, yeah, you don't want to notice them. You're looking up to what you want to do. You're looking up to where you want to go in your life. Um, you know, pages, um, they could be teenagers, they can be students. So I'm seeing uh, some things around work that I think you might have been wanting to make a start on. I think for a long time you might have wanted to be to um, start on these things. Maybe two or maybe three things I'm seeing. And you might be either um, a little bit afraid to start these things or you might be feeling a little bit lost around how you're going to actually start them. Um, I'm actually seeing there's a lot of attention on you as well. A lot of people are watching you, waiting to see what you're going to do. So you might be feeling a little bit self-conscious around that as well. You might be anticipating what you think people might say about it. That might be what's stopping you as well. Um, but I think you do have someone that can help you. You have someone with skills, certain skills that can help you with some of these things. So I think that if you make some kind of a start on this yourself, just start small, just start somewhere, and you also ask this person to help you who has certain skills, I think they're going to work on something for you if you ask them. And I think that once they make a start on that and you see what they're doing, you're going to feel really inspired. You're going to say, oh, I love that. I love what you're doing. That's exactly what I want. That's amazing. And then that's going to spur you on to keep going and keep moving forward. So don't hold back on asking them because I think that's what's going to push you forward as well. Do everything you can to kind of encourage yourself to move forward on these um, things. And also think about what I was seeing in the moon card. You know, you're going to, in the future, maybe a year from now or something, you're going to be moving up. You're going to be at the top of this hill and you're going to be up in these watchtowers. You're going to look back and you're going to see where you've been. Do you want to look back and say, oh, I didn't do this thing. I meant to, but I didn't do it. Or do you want to look back and say, I finished this. I'm really proud of myself. Look at how far I've come. So think about that as well. Think about yourself looking back on yourself now and whether you're going to be happy with your progress, proud with yourself. Just think about that as well. Do anything you can to move forward with this project because I am seeing, you know, there's pentacles here. Uh, this is golden. This whole card's golden. So this project or these things, these three things could really be very lucrative for you. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have for your future is the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so more pentacles again. So again, there's money in these things. This is quite lucrative. Now, I know money isn't your main motivation, but of course, everyone wants money. It helps. Of course it does. So this is what I'm seeing. You are going to earn some money or make some money out of these things. If only if you push forward, though, if you sit there doing nothing, obviously nothing's going to happen. But, you know, I am seeing this building up slowly. Obviously, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight of all. Um, he's a steady worker. He's a solid worker. So I think once you start working on uh, these things properly, steadily, and you have a routine set up, you might see, right, on Monday and Tuesday, I'll do this. On Thursday, I'll do this on this. On Friday, I'll do this. Set up some sort of routine to set yourself up so that you are con consistently working on these things. Also, try to take your emotions out of this. Try to take what people might think of you out of this and all of that out of that as well. Um, you know, I think self-consciousness might have been what stopped you from doing this in the past. Uh, it might have been what slowed you down. You might have made a few false starts and then you might have thought, oh, people might think I'm this or I'm that, so I won't do that. Put that out of your mind. Um, you know, you don't seem self-conscious to the outside world, but you are. Um, 
you know, I am too, I'm like that too, I can understand that. But yeah, try your best to block all of these emotions out and, you know, just work on things slowly. Get a routine set up. The Knight of Pentacles loves dependable routines. So do that, get a routine set up and stick to it. Stick to the program that you'd set out for yourself and you will get there. And yeah, there's money, there's money here. The next card you have for your future is the Eight of Swords, yes. So again, try not to let what people think of you or what you imagine they might think of you trap you and stop you from moving forward in these things, these projects, um, or anything else you want to do. And you, you know, you might be thinking when you're hearing this, I don't care what people think of me. And Aries do have that attitude. I do too sometimes. I don't care what, pe what people think of me. I do whatever I want. I don't care what they think. Yes, part of you is like that. But there's another part of you that does worry about what people think of you. And that's the hidden part. That's the inner part. Um, so there is a part of you that does feel like that. You know, the woman on this card, obviously she's trapped with these swords around her. She can't, she feels like she can't go forward. She can't go back either. And I've seen that in the temperance card. You've come a long way. It would be impossible for you to go back. And you don't want to go back there either. You don't want to go back to where you started. You really, really don't. You might think that sometimes. You might think to yourself, oh, I'm tired of all this. I'm exhausted. I don't want any more of this. It's too far. It's too crazy. I want to go back to where I was. You don't really. You really, really don't. And you can't anyway, because you have these swords behind you stopping you from going back. So you can't do that. Um, but yes, you have to move forward. You have to. Um, the other thing I'm seeing with this is there might be someone, there might be someone else, not this person who's skilled I've seen in the Page of Pentacles, this is someone else who might help you. This is someone who's around you who's a, who's a big emotional connection to you. I don't know if this is a friend or a family member, but you're very, very, very close to them. Now, this person can help you. I think they might have tried to help you with practical things, and I don't think it worked out very well but they can help you emotionally and they can help you with some other things as well. Um, they can, there is an area of this, um, these projects that they can help you on and they'd be very good at it. And I think it's something to do with the human side of things, not the practical side, the human side, if that makes any sense to you. So I think you should ask this person to help you as well um, in other ways. Um, because I think, you know, they love you and they'd love to help you. That's what I'm seeing. This person loves you. So this could be a relative or a very close friend. Um, if this resonates, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. So please ask them to help you. And that's what's going to push you forward as well. This person pushing you and helping you and caring about you. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have for your future is the horrible tower. So, yeah, um, I hate to see this at the end, but... Okay, I think there's something you've been waiting for and I think something that's been promised to you, something that was promised, somebody said, I'll do this for you, you'll have this great thing or you'll be able to do this thing. And it might have been delayed, you might have been like, oh, I want to do this thing, I want to have this thing. And then, oh, it's been set back, I'll have to wait a bit longer. But that's okay, that's okay, I can wait, I really want this thing. This person's promising this thing to me, I trust them, I know it's going to happen. It might be like that. Now, when you get this thing, or when you get this situation, or when you're in this thing, or when whatever this thing is that's going to happen, there is some disappointment in this. And I think it's around this person promising something or over-promising, and they're not going to be able to fulfill that promise to you totally. You'll get kind of almost what you wanted, but it won't be that. It's going to be feeling like a great, big, terrible disappointment to you. But the, it's actually, when you, once you get over the disappointment and you look back on things, you're going to realise it's really not that bad and you're going to be able to fix the actual situation or the thing. And it's going to be okay. It might not be 100% amazing like you're imagining, but it will be fine. It will be okay for you. So what I'm seeing here is that, yes, it's going to come crashing down. Your heart's going to come crashing up. You're going to be very disappointed. But you're going to be able to mend this. You're going to be able to fix the actual situation or the thing to make it better for yourself. But what you're not going to be able to fix is this friendship or your relationship with this person. Because I think you know they overpromised. They said all these things. They promised all these things to you, and they're not going to be able to deliver. And I think 
they were a bit um, not so honest with you around this as well. So you're going to lose your trust in them. So you are going to prepare or prepare, repair this problem or this thing or the situation with the thing they were promising for yourself, by yourself, and it's going to be okay. It's not going to be that drastic. It's not going to be so that bad. It's going to feel that way at the time. Later on, you realize you're going to be able to fix whatever this is, but you're not going to be able to fix or repair your relationship with that person. That's going to go. That's going to go. That's what I'm seeing. Again, I hate seeing this, um, um, this, this card at the end of this reading, but that's what I'm seeing. So, Aries, I hope this resonated with you um, and you understood this because it was a bit complicated, I think. Um, but yeah, general readings can't always co uh, resonate with everyone, as you know. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.